Okay. This is my first demonstration, so bear with me. I'll try not to break anything. Um, I started making segmented bones. Uh, I forget now who inspired me on that. And I was making those all along. And then a guy named Larry Rogers, an old-time member, came in. And he didn't do a demonstration, but he had some pieces over there. Uh, and I looked at them, and they were open segmented. And one was a bowl and a vase, or a bowl and a, yeah, a bowl and a vase. And he named it, and he washed their feet. And it was very inspirational, beautiful. And I got to asking him how he did that. And he started telling me and explaining to me and how to do it, how to keep those little holes in between. And you don't drill them in, you make it that way. So uh, after investigation and him telling me, well, I found out you could get little wedgy templates like this. And I think one just went around that um, Michael made. He can make these. And then Bryce helped me and welded the nut onto a plate, put it on an MDF that I could thread it on my lathe and turn it if I need to so I could line it up. You don't spin it while you're trying to put the pieces in there, but it holds it in place and it helps centers. Uh, does everybody know how to make a wedge? You can make them on a miter saw, any number of ways, but uh, had a member that made this for me where you can loosen these and form uh, the angle you want and Michael can make the different segments this is a 16 segment it's 22.5 degrees and you center it and then tighten it down real secure and then you can put a piece of wood in put it on the table saw with the runner so it's set for you you put this in with the segment or a piece of wood that you're going to cut and this is a stop that you put you can adjust it back and forth to make the segments longer or shorter that way your their segments are all the same length so you butt it up against that and go after it flip it go after it flip it flip it and make as many as you want which i make out of 16 segment i usually make 17 in case one of them messes up or uh, get a nick in it or something. So I brought, I think we're going to have time, the uh, close segmented pieces. I went ahead and cut segments to uh, glue together. So, as you're doing these segments, you can alternate them. You can do dark, light, dark, light. You can do all light color, all dark color. You can alternate like two white, two dark. But any way you want to do them. So, I pre cut these. And I use the question was brought up earlier, what type of glue do you use? And I use this regular type bond. The uh, two. I don't want it drying too fast, but I want to have a little bit of time to work with it. So 
uh, these are what the segments look like. They're angled in and you glue them on the sides and glue them together like this. So I'm going to glue these So bear with me, I have to glue 16 of these. So if you want to come up and see them or, and I do have them marked uh, with a line, squiggly line so that I know what's up and what's down so that the angles all match. Because if you're bored here, if the angles are not exactly right, you're going to cause problems. So I've got them marked. So I glue these together, mash them in. Don't put too much glue on there or you'll have a mess. Peeling it off your hands is the best part though. Yeah, really. Thank you, Peter. Yeah. I glued them on the wrong side, so. So go ahead and walk up here if you want to get up close because it's going to take me just a little bit to get all these glued. I was gluing some pieces together and put some crystals on them, but I didn't want any sweet rock, but I wanted yeah. enough glue that it would, that it would hold. And I put a paper plate and a paintbrush, a small art brush, and got it just as thin as I could. And I would take that and just set it in it. Pull it loose, and we have just a bit of glue across it. And when you would put them together, it would They would, there's not enough glue to squeeze out, but there's enough glue to hold it. And it worked really well. Now you tell me. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we do stuff, we learn from each other. That's exactly right. Robert, have you, have you ever tried pushing them all side by side where you can? Glue a lot, you know, a bunch of them at one time. No, I haven't, but that's an idea that I might try. You know, line them up and then, you know, where the pinch, you know, so it won't get down between, and then you just, you know, spread it, spread it, and then turn them. You have to put glue on both seasons? I do, yes. Okay. For securing your segmented um, piece, I've seen some people talk about band clamps, others like rubber bands. Do you have a preference or comment? Uh, I started out using rubber bands and then uh, they, break on you. <laughs> they break on you now. My hands are not flexible enough or big enough or whatever to hold them and spread them out. So I put these, got these band clamps and put them on and that works very well. And you can get them real tight. Yeah, it's all 
Thank you. Okay, we're getting there. Yes, uh, I have a, uh, not a drum sander, but I have a thickness sander okay. where I run them through uh, on each side right. to clean them up before I try to glue the layer together. Okay, so this is the last segment. Here's where you need about three That's hands. In UNC. Now then, I'll put it on a solid piece. So that if any of them stick it out very much, well, I can hammer it down and it makes it a little easier and I don't have to do quite so much sanding on it. And there's the segment. You're done after we just one, right? That's all I'm going to show. <laughs> but this is one of the rings 
and then I'll put it on. After this dries, I'll sand it, I'll do all of them, and then sand them progressively larger or smaller or whatever I want for the shape. And then I'll line these up and glue them together where they overlap and stick out or in either way. And I can create a bowl. Which is over there. Yeah. Now this is an open segmented piece, but you can see how they, <coughs> they glue together. So I'm going to just set this on the side <coughs> and then uh, Michael can make these wedges for you, but don't do what I did as thinking that 16 segment wedge was the same for open segmented as it is closed segmented. It's not. You can see the difference. So, anyway, this is closed segment. Open segment is the same way. Adjust your board, your wedge here, and get it like you want it, and then you can glue the open segmented pieces, but you, the difference is you don't do them like I just did that one. You put them in here and they will wedge in here. Now don't force it in because when you're, when they dry and you're pulling it out, a lot of times they'll come apart on you. And I've had that happen. Don't worry about it. You can always take it and line it up and kind of stick it back in. So I'm going to do a, uh, let's do a too light, too dark. Is that made on a 3D printer? I'm sure it was. Uh -huh. uh, I bought this from Seg Seg Easy. But you can see how they fasten in. And like I say, you don't have to force them in there, but kind of wedge them in so they don't just fall out. So blue and these is kind of like watching paint dry. Still 16 segments, but yes, this is still 16. Four degrees in between each one. Is that normal? I did not do good math, so <laughs> I don't know. But he was just saying, it's, well, he said that the wedge was different size mm -hmm. for this open segment, paper. right? Yeah, because there's a little space. Because of the yeah. Yeah. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Okay, now then, I've been asked about getting glue in between the segments for your bowl. Don't glob it on, but I put a little bit of glue on each side of these uh, wedges or the segments and I smooth it down with my finger so it doesn't gush all over everywhere. But it, as it dries, it you don't see it that much. Some people have taken... Um, Pipe cleaners, uh, uh, 
You ever tried using CA glue? No. It might not be strong enough to hold it when you're turning it. Okay, I go ahead and put glue on all of my segments and then come back in and smear it down with my fingers. Robert? Yes. You might sometimes you might try putting your segments all together and spreading the glue lightly. You know, like we talked about earlier. Right. And then after you got the glue on, then sliding. I'm too fumble finger. So you don't have to do all that single one. <laughs> I'd have glue everywhere. <laughs> That's part of it, having glue everywhere. Yeah. That, that's the fun part. The way I do it, is that the right way? <laughs> that's the way I do it. Y'all telling me I don't know what I'm doing? <laughs> okay, so I've got glue. Try to get most of it on the outside. And then I've got this pre-made. And I've got... Uh, a sacrificial piece here, or and then a solid piece that's going to be part of my bowl is this layer here, and then I put a solid ring here, but it's also 16 segments, so that even though they're different sizes, you can turn them so that they'll alternate where you get the, the seam in between and it lines up. So now then I put him, and this is all eyeball. Okay, can I get somebody to, Hold this. So then you have to repeat that for every layer that you want. Yes. How long do you let the glue dry between? I usually let it dry a couple of hours. So I don't clamp them down tight because as you all know that if you do that while the glue is still wet, it'll walk on you. Right. A little so. salt. Okay, so that's glued up with my first segment or open segment. And I'll let that set for a couple of hours. And if y'all want to stay around and watch it dry, <laughs> that's up to you. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So here's a, one that I went ahead and put together. And you can see how the segments line up. Now I have not used uh, uh, 
lathe this big. So bear with me. Now, even though you've got that mounted in a chuck, are you going to bring the tail block up? Yes. It's not. Oh, it's not. Yeah. It's a face plate. Oh, face plate. I got it. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. I see. So, when you make a new layer on that, how are you determining how much bigger in diameter? Uh, to make that. I've got a whole bunch of waste rings that I use to measure with, and I have uh, I bought one of these at SWAT last year, and for the size bowls that I make, if I use a sixteenth of an inch difference progression between here, that it makes just Make your segment bigger. Makes it bigger, and it's just the right size. I don't go where it's. I don't make extreme size changes, but a sixteenth of an inch makes it about what I want. Okay, now I use a carbide tool. You can use a uh, other tools if you want, but all I want to do on this is take off the corners and I do it very slowly. If you get in there and get rough with it, it'll start busting up. Flying segments. Yeah, flying segments. You got your man for Yes. And historically speaking, the uh, only other open segment demonstration we've had in the club, he did blow it up. <laughs> and that was Larry Rogers. Oh my gosh. How's he doing? Not good, fair. Fair? Yeah. I still see him at church uh, frequently. So. I see. Very slow, but he's still turning. Okay, now I can't talk or hear you if I have this on, so. Just kind of bear with me.
When that happens, it never happened to me. You can you get slick up here with all this. Knock it right out. Okay. You can take it. Put a little glue on there and wedge it right back in. Somebody won some CA glue this morning. <laughs> See that glue working instantly. Yeah. Hey, you know what, Robert? About half of us did not even jump when you did that because we've done it before. <laughs> <laughs> and you get good at looking and see where the piece went. <laughs> That's right. Chase it, chase it. Sometimes you lose the piece for a little bit. Sick all your crumbs off the soil. When it flies clear across the shop, it has to be okay. Who's got the CA? what, if you want to put that on there, I'll push it in. Did you get any? Does anybody have any activator? activator? Not here. Water, water. What will? Water. water. Lick it. You just Lick have it. to change have the pH. Spit on That's it. all it does. Is that what it does? Yes. If you use acid, it's slower to dry. And anything that's that basic will dry quicker. Yeah. Quick. So when you change the pH more basic, it cures. So that's why I'm using Yep. Because it's basic. Let me have just a little bit more of that. Nothing to do with air. Nothing to do with air. It would solve it. That's Murphy's law. In a demo, anything that can go wrong will go wrong. Yeah. Murphy's law. But Murphy was an optimum. <laughs> and then there's also colds. Jim Bob, you want to come up here and spit on this? <laughs> <laughs> I did resist the temptation earlier this morning so, to ask everybody if they knew how to identify a dog with a tree. Oh, yeah? Mike Spark! <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I still had to set up with it, yeah. Um, does anybody have an atomizer? Have what? An atomizer when you spray a little bit of water? You know. It ought to set up pretty quick. Anyway. It sets up pretty quick. We have a rotating Can you pull it out? ship with super. Yeah, it's still we loose. It really? oh, we've got it on the landing. Yeah. But anyway, you can see how this is slowly 
taking shape and smoothing. Still, I'm just knocking these edges off right now. And that is still not set. Yeah, let's try a little bit more. Breathe on it. Just don't take a deep breath. Yeah. Over it. Breathe, breathe it out. Breathe out. <laughs> Make sure you breathe out. What's the book that take turns? <laughs> Okay. Does anybody have any questions on this for waiting for the Jew to drop? How often in your shop have you had, you know, tear out or fly out and any tricks that you found that help avoid it? Um, I use tight bond, I glue it, go drink some coffee, and come back. It doesn't take long. And uh, just a matter of letting it dry and getting it again. Okay, then probably the question will come up. On the inside, how do I turn it? For the inside, and I use this medical tape, and I wrap the outside snugly or snug, and uh, turn the inside. And I have not had it bust apart working from the inside because this holds it pretty tight. You have to take this back plate off in order to get to it. So this is a been a lifesaver. My wife gave me this idea. You know what the difference in cobain is that rep is? No. <laughs> More $10. than that, ten dollars. <laughs> but you can buy them great big rolls like this wide, and then I just take them and do the bands off. Where do you get it? <laughs> I think I get two rolls. Where do you get it? At Debo's. Oh, Debo's. Uh, and yeah. what is it? You call it cobain? Cobain is what they call it if it's for human, but they call it vet wrap if you get it at farm store. Vet what? Vet wrap. Vet wrap. Yeah, exactly. That's still a little wiggly. Well, can you, can you put a quarter band or something on it and just turn the rest of it while it's. Matt, uh, It'll throw it out. I will. I can work on these put and that, not that put row. That, put that metal ring on there. Lock it down. <laughs> Just turn the rest of it. Yeah. I guess we need some thin chain and some activator clothes. Yeah, if Marcy had it close, we could run down there and get some. Yeah, yeah they ain't here no more. So, in addition to the band aid thing, so spots. <laughs> no. Get some moisture up there. Yeah. <sighs> He suggested taking this out and go ahead and do the demonstration so I can do that. Put it in later. <laughs> Put it in later. And that's, that won't be a problem. You might want to stand aside when you turn it on. 
because the rest of the CA goes to cuts. Yeah, that's where you on the, the, on the yeah. That's what happens on all of our smarts. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> it slings it right there. <laughs> Now let's hope this works. Okay, that's got it smooth from layer to layer now, and I'm not touching this uh, top layer. Uh, I guess I could go ahead and, uh, and clean it. I've got a gap in there, so I'll be careful. Thank <laughs> you. 
go in and smooth it a little bit more but for demonstration purposes we're going to go ahead and take this off Okay, it's smooth on outside boost, very rough on the inside. So now then I'll take the cobain. Somebody want to come up here and turn this for me? I just use one layer, but I overlap it. Okay. 
Yeah. Oh, oh, we may have an endless supply of it. Yeah. <laughs> What's this? I it's the rodeo. It's the same thing. Sports medicine for the rodeo. And what is it called? Okay, so I got it wrapped. Hey, less noise. Okay. Which of this is yours? Okay. Yes, if you would. Is there a broom handy? I'm slipping and sliding yeah. on this. Yeah. Well, we'll get the stuff yeah. out first. What is it you call that Cobain? Vet rap. Vet rap. Vet rap. Vet rap. Vet rap. rap. Here, Robert. It, it's in the medical part of the, the animal medical stuff in the farm store. Okay. They come to every color. You got some more of those. Everybody wants them. Yeah. You got some more of those back there. Everybody wants them. I'll take one. 
Yeah, yeah. I think they're from Mars and they're brand new, and I just might keep buying the answer. <laughs> okay, speaking of animal supply things, no, go ahead. For Tom Shower, I had to make a threshold, and I went and bought a four by eight piece of the tiny bit rubber out of Cuba. It's, it's what you know they put for. On board stall. I've still got about 80, no, 73 inches by 48. Anybody needs any of that? Do we have a light? Nope. Did that work? Yeah. Okay, other than just continue to work on it until I get it all smooth on the inside, that's basically what is involved in it. So you smooth it out and then use your sandpaper the same way and get it good and smooth and then start putting your finish on. So are there any questions? When you sand it, uh, do you use a flap sander or a drum sander, round thing, or how do you do that? Well, I just got a uh, thing, you might have seen it advertised, inflatable, it's got an end on it that you can buy the sandpaper that sized and taped together, you put that on the end of it, and then take some compressed air and like that, and it expands it. Put that in your drill, and it makes a great sander for the end or the sides or whatever it's, inside. It's soft. It's soft. Then it conforms and it yes. takes off the high spots. Right. It's it's an inflatable sander. And then on the outside, I use a piece of sandpaper on a. I got a little wooden. I mean, a rubber, hard rubber, and I just sand it. I get it like I want to go through all the grits. But you can come up here and check this and see how I've knocked the edges off. And other than that, does anybody have any questions? 
look forward to seeing that but it what we look forward to seeing the fed product all right well i'll have it finished probably tomorrow so come over so that was good thank you thank you Thank you.